neural networks to solve the unsolvable. The challenge was to see if through machine learning and artificial intelligence, could it be possible to predict non-compliance during personal insolvency? Using data from the Australian Financial Security Authority, we sought out to see if there were common triggers in these cases. The AFSA would find this information important in investigating people after they have filed for bankruptcy. Our solution visualises personal insolvencies over graphic, geographic and demographic data of those who have gone bankrupt. A neural network was trained with non-compliance personal insolvency data and SA Level 3 census data for population, age and sex. This neural network can reasonably predict heightened chances of people not complying with their insolvency orders. Our product uses both visualisation techniques of key data areas and such as relationship statuses and if they have any dependence. The testing of this package has been done by us, its creator. Here we have our app in practice, Australian Insolvency's website. Here's a, here are the statistics for Kangaroo Island, South Australia, for all insolvencies in that area between 2007 and 2018 financial year. We can now go to find Rockhampton's data. Here is a Rockhampton data that we can now click the Mathematica button to view in even more depth and see what the neural AI was looking at when it was making its predictions. Here we have a heat map showing those who are single without a dependent, this area here, are the most likely to go bankrupt in this area, are the largest group of bankruptcies. However, non-compliance shifts to the group that is those in a relationship with the Dependence in this area. We can go into further depth and further visualizations of those debtor, the debtor incomes and the unsecured debt levels. Also, the family situation in numeric form. We can look at the AI algorithm that we've got here. Here we have inputs such as calendar year, age, gender, sex, a lot of different things that we can actually then see what our AI is predicting. For example, if I were to change from my own statistics over to a female, I'll find that the AI has calculated a different percentage for me 